Hello friends, in this video we are going to see an example which is example 8. Okay, let's look at the example 8. In this example, we want to create a parking lot for 5 cars. Say, parking lot first and short PL1. So up to PL5. When a car approaches the gate, a sensor, say PS, proximity sensor for short, will activate a motor, say activator, and the gate will go up. Then the car will take up the parking spot, and then the second car will approach the gate, and the proximity sensor will sense the car, and the motor will activate, the gate will go up and the car will take up the second spot so on and the third car will come and approach up to the fifth car until there will be no spot left and the gate will not open for the sixth car. Now let's head over to the Open PLC editor here. And we will create a new project. And I will name the folder as Parking and I will press enter and select the folder then after I will say that this is program 8 and I will language as LD which is LED diagram for short and I will press OK then after I will start with the variables first of all I'm going to need parking lot and the type will be boolean. Then after I will create six and I will edit the sixth as proximity sensor and the last one as actuator. Now I will create two power rails one will be on the left side and one on the right side or I could just copy and paste the left rail then I will add or make it a right one and thereafter I will just add a proximity sensor first I will adjust its block size then after I will create a coil here which will be activator and I will adjust its block size. Then I'm going to need six, sorry, five parking lot. I will copy and paste the proximity sensor five times. Then I will edit it as parking lot first up until five. And I will modify the parking lots as negated. Then I will modify the second one and keep it as negated. Same will be for the third one and the fourth and the fifth one.
Now I will connect these pins here. And I will join the last one with the proximity sensor. Then I will join these with the actuator here. Same goes for the fifth. Now we can see that the proximity sensor is normally open contact and these five parking lots are normally closed and the actuator is normally open. Now I will start the simulation here. The simulation is complete and I will click on the debug instance here. Then I will drag this up and can see the red height ram clearly then I will show you the five parking lots fourth one and the fifth one then after I will show you the actuator and the parking lot sorry proximity sensor Now you can see on the right side that all of the parking lots are false and the actuator is false, the proximity sensor is false. Let's suppose a car will approach the gate and the proximity sensor will go through means that the car is near to the gate. Then the parking lots as you can see are all empty which means that the car will come and fill up any space of the parking lot let's say the car will fill the first space and the proximity sensor will go false as there is no car at the gate and the second car will approach the gate and it will go through now there are four parking lots and one is occupied and the actuator will say that the gate will go up and the second parking lot will be taken. Now let's say that third car will come and it will take the third one and so up to fourth one and the proximity sensor will go false. Now these four parking lots or spots are taken and now there is only one parking spot a car will approach and proximity sensor will go through saying that the car is near the gate the actuator will go through means that the motor will start running and the gate will go up and the car will come and take the fifth spot and The proximity sensor will go false. Now if the sixth car will approach the gate, the actuator will not go through or the motor will not say to the gate that it will go up as all of 
the parking spots are already taken so the for the sixth car there is no spot so the activator will remain false this ends our video here thank you for watching